Hi, this is Jason with Concourse Hosting. In this week's Tableau Server Tip, we'll continue looking at ways to share workbooks. Today, let's look at subscriptions. A subscription is a regularly scheduled email delivery of a Tableau Server view or workbook to a subscribed user. When subscribers click the snapshot of the workbook or view in their email, it opens on Tableau Server. We're currently using Tableau 9.3, so only persons with the ability to view content in server can subscribe to content, and they can only subscribe themselves. Once we update to Tableau 10, which provides more substantial subscription management options, I'll revise this tooltip. For now, let's take a look at the subscriptions in our version of Tableau 9.3. First, I'll touch on the requirements of server for users to receive subscriptions. Then I'll show you how to subscribe to a workbook or view within a workbook. As the Tableau server administrators, we set up the basic SMTP server settings for subscriptions and enable the subscription feature for your site in the server. From Tableau server's perspective, a subscription includes a workbook, data, and a schedule. To deliver the data piece, Tableau Server needs to be able to access the data with no end user involvement. This can be accomplished by using either a workbook with embedded database credentials. And if you'll remember in an earlier tooltip, we showed you that the step when you're saving a workbook is where you can embed the credentials. And this is where this comes into play. Or you can use a Tableau Server data source, or by using data that doesn't require credentials, such as a file that's included with the workbook at publish time. Workbooks that prompt for credentials for live database connections, if you set it that way, cannot be subscribed to. If a user can see a view or workbook on Tableau Server and it has the subscription icon in the upper right hand corner, he or she can subscribe to it. And here on this workbook, in the upper right hand corner, you can see the subscription icon. The ability to see a view or workbook is controlled by the view permission. A user must also have an email address. If a user must also have an email address. If Tableau Server doesn't already have an email address for a subscribing user, it prompts one for the subscription sign up the first time. Users can change their delivery options, unsubscribe, or update their email addresses in My Account settings. Okay, let's subscribe. For this example, we're looking at the fiscal year comparison workbook. Clicking on the subscription icon takes me to the option pop-up where I can, as a user, decide I want to receive this on a one-week schedule or receive it every day. In this viz, I've constructed a drill-through type dashboard. So from here, you'll see down below that I can share just the sheet or view that I'm looking at now or the entire visualization. Once you receive this in your internal email, by all means, you could create a group and redistribute this visualization from here. As Tableau Server isn't intended to manage email subscription lists in version 9.3, but it will in version 10. But that's coming. So if you simply want to email a link to a viz, go to Share and copy and paste the link to the viz in your email application. Otherwise, click Choose a Schedule and click Subscribe. Then, when the schedule runs, either Monday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern or weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern. You'll receive the viz in your email. Click on the thumbnail within and that'll take you to your visualization published on Tableau Server. 
I'm Jason and thanks for watching. I'll be covering the other ways to share workbooks using Tableau Server in upcoming Tableau Server Tip videos.